students. This is your flipped grammar lesson for Storytown Lesson 4, Simple and Compound Sentences. For this activity, you will need your WISC worksheet and a pen or a pencil. If you can't find your WISC worksheet, check Edmodo for another copy. On your WISC worksheet, fill out your name and unit of study, simple and compound sentences. Once you've got that filled in, fill out the W section telling when and where you watched this video. Are you ready to get started? Let's go! Let's start by taking a look at simple sentences. Simple sentences express only one complete thought. So far this year, we've mostly been dealing with simple sentences. In a simple sentence, the subject and the predicate may be simple or compound. By this we mean you could have just one subject and just one predicate in the sentence, or you can have a compound subject, meaning you have more than one simple subject, or you may have a compound predicate, which means you have more than one verb that the subject is performing. Let's take a look at some examples of simple sentences just to refresh our memory. On the screen, you can see a picture and an example of a simple sentence. Our sentence is, the teachers posed in front of the school on the first day. We can tell that this sentence is a simple sentence because it expresses only one complete thought. We have a simple subject, teachers, and we have a simple predicate, posed, and together they only form one complete thought. Let's take a look at an example of a sentence that has compound subjects and predicates, but is still a simple sentence. Here we have another example of a simple sentence. In this sentence, Miss Rule and Mrs. Morgan dress like twins and take lots of selfies. We still have just one complete thought that's being communicated through the sentence. However, we have a compound subject with this sentence, Miss Rule and Mrs. Morgan. Both of these ladies are performing the action of the sentence. This sentence also has a, co a compound predicate, dress like twins, and take lots of selfies. Our compound subject performs both of the actions in the predicate. However, since only one complete thought is being expressed, this sentence is still a simple sentence. So how do we make a compound sentence? Compound sentences are the next topic we'll be studying in this lesson today. Compound sentences are made up of two or more simple sentences. These sentences contain two or more complete thoughts. Usually, the simple sentences are joined by a comma and a coordinating conjunction. This is a helpful mnemonic for remembering what the most common coordinating conjunctions are. Fanboys. In the fanboys mnemonic, each letter is the first letter of a common coordinating conjunction. F for for, A for and, N for nor, B for but, O for or, Y for yet, S for so. Fanboys. Remember, these coordinating conjunctions should have a comma preceding them in order to avoid making punctuation or run-on mistakes when you are composing your own sentence. For the next few minutes, you will practice combining simple sentences in order to make compound sentences. At the same time, you will learn what school is like when there are no students around. Have you ever wondered what the teachers do when the school is empty of kids? Well, you can find out while you're practicing making compound sentences. How can you combine these simple sentences to make a compound sentence? The song makes them feel happy. The teachers dance in the classrooms. Think about it, watch the video, and then we'll check and see if you knew how to combine these simple sentences. One way
way you could combine the simple sentences to make a compound sentence is by adding that comma and coordinating conjunction or fanboys. In my example, I chose to use the coordinating conjunction so. The song makes them feel happy, so the teachers dance in the classrooms. Another way you can combine two related simple su sentences is to use a semicolon. The semicolon is the punctuation mark that has a dot on the top and a comma on the bottom. In this case, you would not need to use a coordinating conjunction. The sentence would simply read, The song makes them feel happy. The teachers dance in the classrooms. Both of these are correct ways to make a compound sentence without making a run-on. Let's try combining two more simple sentences to make a compound sentence. How can you combine these simple sentences? Miss Rule and Mrs. Warden raced on the scooters. Miss Rule fell. Watch the video and think about how you would combine these simple sentences to make a compound sentence. How did you combine those simple sentences to make a compound sentence? One way you could do it is to add a comma and a coordinating conjunction, or fanboys. Look at this example. Miss Rule and Mrs. Warden raced on the scooters, but Miss Rule fell. This is one way to use a coordinating conjunction to combine those two simple sentences and make a compound sentence. Just like before, another way is to use a semicolon. The semicolon is used to, to combine two simple sentences that are closely related. In that case, the sentence would read, Miss Rule and Mrs. Warden raced on the scooters. Miss Rule fell. Let's try one more example. How can you combine these simple sentences? Miss Rule sneaked out of the secret pool. She was caught on camera. How would you put these two simple sentences together in order to make a compound sentence? Watch the video and then check your answer. Here she comes. How did you combine the sentences? One way is to use a comma and a coordinating conjunction, or fanboys. Miss Rule sneaked out of the secret pool Yet, she was caught on camera. Notice how I used a comma and then a coordinating conjunction, yet, to combine the simple sentences and make a compound sentence. Another way to connect two related simple sentences is to use a semicolon. In this way it reads, Miss Rule sneaked out of the secret pool. She was caught on camera. Either one of these combinations can make a compound sentence without making a run-on sentence. I've mentioned avoiding run-on sentences a few times in this video, so I wanted to leave you with a couple of reminders to help you avoid making that type of sentence construction mistake. First, remember your comma rules. One way to do that is to use a comma before a coordinating conjunction to combine two simple sentences. So, when you see a fanboys, make sure there's a comma before it. Next, don't forget to use the conjunction. If you just put a comma between the two simple sentences and forget the conjunction, this is called a comma splice, which is a particular type of run-on sentence. A comma does not replace a period, a semicolon, or a comma conjunction, so make sure you use it. I hope you learned about simple and compound sentences in this video, as well as how to construct sentences without making run-ons. I hope you enjoyed finding out what teachers like to do at school when there are no students around. If you need to, feel free to watch this video again. Then, fill out the S and Q sections of your WISC worksheet. In the S section, 
write a five sentence summary of what you learned in the video. In the Q section, please write a question that you might still have after having watched. If you have no questions, create a test question for your classmates. Remember, these test questions show up on your quiz. Please make sure you've completed this activity on time, and we'll see you next time.